everything works. Welcome back between Ferguson and ISIS. President Obama has his hands full. I'm back now with Kimberly Dozier, Tara Setmeyer, and also Van Jones. Kimberly, you first. So if Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel said the U.S. needs to, quote, get ready, what exactly does that mean, and what is the administration willing to do? Well, U.S. intelligence officials have warned that this organization has already formed cells, possibly with orders, in the West, Europe, maybe the United States. They wouldn't quite go that far in briefings to reporters. But these people are out there, they've had training, and they have the intent to attack Western or U.S. targets. So that's part of what I think Chuck Hagel was getting at when he said, get ready. Now, in terms of how you get ready, uh, you raise your defenses here in the states and overseas we could already see they've sent out small teams of special operations folks uh, they will likely plus up their intelligence um, operators on the ground to start waging a long war like the kind we see in Yemen or Pakistan against this adversary mm -hmm. Yeah. And Van, President Barack Obama compared militants in Iraq and Syria to uh, junior varsity basketball players. You know about that. You've heard of downplaying their threat as small league. They've already had to clarify this a number of times. Uh, did they drop the ball on dealing with this threat sooner? Well, I tell you what, that comment now is going to haunt them for the rest of the presidency. That was a, uh, now it turns out to be a terrible comment. But you got to remember, it lined up with the assessments, not just of the United States, but everybody around the world. Nobody really believed that they had the leadership to put this kind of threat together. What I will say is simply this. Now that it has happened, everybody has to take a big step back and reset. There has been a, a, almost a civil war in this country over of George, but George W. Bush's handling of the Iraq war. We now have to look at a new threat. And I would hope the country would come together now. When you're talking about beheading Americans, when you're talking about uh, killing more, uh, more Americans than they've already killed, and they're still gaining momentum, this should be Republicans and Democrats coming together, not taking cheap shots at each other. And Tara's uh, waiting patiently, not, but I see not she's taking just let out a shots. big... <sighs> <laughs> right, because not taking uh, cheap shots, How does this look for, for yeah, President Obama and, and the U.S.? Go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, well, I think that the, maybe you and I disagree. I think George W. Bush took us to, to war with bad evidence, but I don't think that should keep us from looking at the new evidence we have now and acting appropriately. You, you disagree with that? Well, no. We're not going to re-prosecute the Iraq war. We need. That's right. If this is on President Obama's watch now. His inaction has allowed ISIS to become what it's become. It's not just a terrorist organization. It's an army. And that's absolutely not true that no one anticipated that ISIS would become this powerful. So intelligence... And the defense people you stole in the defense my follow, department Tara. absolutely did warn him. But he wasn't, he had a 10 year, he wasn't listening. Maybe if he showed up for his presidential briefings every once in a while, maybe he would have uh, realized they were not a junior that, varsity that, that's, team. That's completely, that is not true. Not, he, not he, true. This that's president not true. Check gets his record, man. Every day. Look, I used to work in this White House. I used to work in the White House. Then you know this that he wasn't showing up for his day. briefings. Right. To say that kind of stuff doesn't make any sense. Kimberly Dozier. I've, I've, I've got to say, um, there, there probably is some bipartisan support for what Tara was saying on the Hill in terms of, I've heard from both Democrats and Republicans who said, we should have done more on the ground in Syria, sent more uh, intelligence operatives in as opposed to relying on proxy forces. But now that you're seeing support for that form on the Hill, maybe that will lead to the passage of that $5 billion package to put those kind of forces on the ground and head this off. I think, though, what we're in for is a really long fight. We are. We need to have right. a defined long-term strategy. Thank you, guys. Appreciate all of strategy. you. Defined. Thank you, Tara. Thank you, Van. Thank you, Kimberly. We'll be right back, live from Ferguson.